first off, I just want to say that it's uh, one positive is that uh, we have a female candidate. We don't have enough female candidates. You're not well enough represented. But uh, that aside, um, uh, you are a member of the uh, Fidesz party. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but um, I understand you were also deputy leader of this party for four years until 2010. And uh, I have to say, I would have great unease of, uh, in voting for anyone, uh, for any position who's a member of that party, uh, given uh, some of the statements that have come out from your leader. And I'm just wondering, uh, on a comment such as, every single migrant poses a public security and terror risk, and also, for us, migration is not a solution but a problem, not medicine but a poison. We don't need it and won't swallow it. That's what your leader said. I'm just wondering, do you agree with that? And if you don't agree with it, what have you done to challenge what has been said? Will you reject those horrible, horrible words? I did notice you used a little bit of compassion with your colleague that you didn't want to push him out of his position. Yet your leader has no problem with getting children and pushing them out of your country, even if they don't have enough to eat. So, can you tell me why on earth would anyone vote for you? I'd just like to recall that uh, we're having a discussion with Mrs. Um, Gallant and not with the head of uh, government in Hungary. I think it's important that we remain focused on the issues. Thank you very much uh, th to the chair and thank you to Mr. Flanagan for the comments that you've just made. I have a uh, full understanding for what you've just said and I'm uh, very pleased that I can answer these questions as a woman uh, it, to achieve uh, uh, the, a balance. I'm wearing uh, trousers today. Since 2005, I have uh, been uh, vice president of uh, the, the group and now of course uh, I don't uh, uh, share all those opinions what does it take to make you angry uh, the leader of your party which you seem to want to remain a member of doesn't really think quite so much about women's rights in fact uh, he's not that keen on women getting involved in politics in Hungary because it, women cannot endure the continual character assassinations. I hope you're able for it. Um, uh, you say you don't share all the views of your leader. Which views do you not share? And the ones that you don't share, have you challenged him on it? Because at the end of the day, this job is about character. And I have to say, I am absolutely horrified that we have a member in here who thinks your CV is perfect. You come from a party that if you were around when my family were migrants, you'd have hunted them out of the country they went to. So I can't see how your CV is perfect. And what about the women's rights of refugee women? You also suggest that migrants should be allowed to work. Are you going to propose that the refugees that you're trying to run out of your country are going to be allowed to work? And. Uh, have you expressed this view to your leader? Because at the end of the day, you're free to be a member of this party or leave it. Mr. Flanagan, your question doesn't have anything to do with what we're dealing with here. question does. This is about character. Have you challenged your leader on his racist views? Have you challenged your leader on his racist views? You asked the question beforehand and we don't have enough time to has she yeah. challenged her leader on his racist yeah. views and I cannot believe I'm not getting more support on this. I, I have to say as well what we personally prefer or not isn't really up for de debate. I'm not, 
I'd like to draw that to your attention. It's important to me that with all candidates uh, we have a fair procedure. These questions aren't fair because the question has never been asked of you. How far do you agree with your party leader or, or not? I think this committee, uh, of which I'm the chair, which is why I make the point to you as a member, should stick to our business. I'm sure the candidate has an answer to your question. She, she has the floor. Thank you. Thank you for the questions too. Of course, I will address Mr. Flanagan's question. For 10 years, I have been the only female member of the Fides Bureau. The party leader of uh, Fides, you say, uh, disdains female uh, politicians or hates them. That's not the case. When I was a member of the Hungarian parliament, sorry, I, I have the floor now, the question of a female quota was raised and there was a very lively debate. Who supported me? Who supported my opinion? Who stood up for a female quota in parliament and voted for it? Our party leader. The line that can't be crossed Sold out, taken in, yet blindly You do it all